En el 2007 uh, yo salí embarazada, um, tenía una hija de 7 años, yo quería tener otro bebé. Los 5 meses no, les, no le encontraban el corazón al bebé. El día del parto me hicieron cesárea, um, el bebé nació muerto, lo revivieron, se lo llevaron al hospital de, de los niños en Fresno y ahí el doctor habló y dijo que el bebé se iba a morir, que él iba a vivir un día, una semana, un mes, no sabía. Kettleman City has had many unexplained um, health issues. Um, in 2007, we started seeing a lot of mothers coming forward um, that had babies that were born with birth defects. And in the next several years, there were 11 babies uh, that were born with, with birth defects, many of them similar type cleft palate birth defects, uh, and three of them ended up dying. Mi niña nació con defectos de nacimiento, problemas del corazón y deformidades. Falleció a los 10 meses y medio, le dio una infección en la, uh, en la sangre, pero desgraciadamente hasta ahorita no me han dado una razón por qué ella falleció, por qué nació así. There's a disparity in toxic waste disposal in California. There's uh, three toxic waste dumps and all three of them are in low income minority communities. The Kettleman Hills facility, it's owned by Chemical Waste Management. It's a subsidiary of waste management, so very wealthy company. This particular facility um, accepts every type of hazardous waste and extremely hazardous waste. So this particular facility is the only facility in California that accepts PCBs. Uh, PCBs are a banned substance, they're a carcinogen, they cause birth defects. One of my husband's nieces, um, she was one of the moms that had a child with a cleft palate. Um, in all, there was five children born with a cleft palate in a 14-month period. Three of those children have died. There's also been uh, a lot of cancers um, in town. Mm -hmm. Leukemia rates, childhood leukemia rates are very high. There was a little boy that died in November of leukemia. He was two years old. More recently, there's been a tremendous amount of miscarriages. Um, the asthma rates are through the roof. Después tuve a Citlali que nació bien de salud en lo que cabe porque ella tiene problemas de asma desde que nació. En un pueblo tan chiquito se me hace una cantidad exagerada de enfermedades que hay. Chemways is applying to expand the actual landfill space and to build a new landfill right next to it. The reason they're trying to expand it is because they've run out of room uh, to bury toxic waste. But the primary permitting authority for hazardous waste is the Department of Toxic Substances Control. What we've been seeing from DTSC uh, is a pattern of the agency protecting the polluters rather than protecting the public. They have indicated that they plan to approve the project. Most recently, Chem Waste um, has hired its own public relations, uh, set them up with a house in the town of Kettleman City, um, and he is trying to convince the residents that Chem Waste is beneficial to the town. Escogieron una persona latina que se, se inmiscuye entre la misma comunidad, empezando a ir a la iglesia, empezando a, a, este, a hacer eventos en el parque, este, regalándoles despensas, este, regalándoles playeras o comprándolos en ese aspecto, diciéndoles que todo está bien, que no está pasando nada. I'm pretty uh, upset with DTSC. They're guilty. Um, they have blood on their hands, literally, because children have died here, and they uh, haven't found out why, and all they did was recommend to reduce the pollution, but they're getting set to increase it, so they're very much guilty. This community has just suffered so much that it's not appropriate to expand the facility. Pues yo sigo en la lucha y sigo esperando la respuesta.